and we're back with some more washington capitals franchise mode in fhm 10 and this one we are going to go through the rest of the offseason including the hall of fame inductions and the prospects tournament first something i should point out is that we have signed cutter gautier to an entry level deal now the thing about gautier is that i was looking at the depth chart and i noticed i didn't see him there i was like uh oh and it turns out that his rights actually expired at some point i'm guessing this past off season, I, I I didn't see his rights expiring though, and I didn't even see him on the prospects page on the unsigned page when I was going through the prospects before July. So I'm assuming he his rights expired last summer. Maybe he had like the August 15th expiration date or something. I don't know. Maybe that's why I didn't realize. But uh, apparently he he left a free agency, but luckily we did get him back. As soon as I noticed he was not on the depth chart. Anyway, with that taken care of, let's get to the Hall of Fame inductions. So you have Alexander Mogilny finally gets in, Joe Thornton, Zanano Chara, and John Van Beesbrook. All right, time for the prospects tournament. So who's going in here? In goal, I think it's got to be Ivankovic. And I'm going to say, I guess, Bjorklund. On defense, you have Levshunov, Huang, Krebs, Cameron. I would say Emery, and then need one more, right? Yeah, Will Reynolds. And at forward, of course, you have Misa, Suzdalev, Carrier, Gautier, Height, Parasak, Jake O'Brien, Soto, Leonard, Larange, Swanson, and Hagens, I'd say. I couldn't even get Gino Carconi in there. I kind of wanted to, but <laughs> unfortunately, we just have so many prospects to take a look at here well i'd say unfortunately but that's you know that's a good thing but unfortunate in terms of that we're not going to be able to see all of them in this tournament but nonetheless i think that is our prospects roster so in goal you have bjorkland and ivankovic on defense you have krebs cameron reynolds levshunov huang and emery and at forward you have suzdalev gautier misa carrier heights leonard hagens o'brien Swanson, Parasak, Soto, and Larange. All right, so we won two and we lost two. The game against the Islanders was a 4-2 win. 54 shots to 23. Three stars a game, Larange with two goals. Gill for the Islanders and Swanson with a goal and assist. So in the first period, it was Larange who scores on the power play from Swanson. In the second period, you have Hagens from Emery. Then Swanson from Height and Krebs. Then the third, you have Larange on the power play from Huang and Levashunov. Then game number two against the Minnesota Wild. He had a 3-2 win. Shots were 41-26 to in favor of Washington Capitals. Three stars of the game, Swanson, Wallstat, and first off. First period, first off scores twice. Second period, Carson Cameron from Huang and Misa. Then the third, you have Max Swanson from Will Reynolds. And then the game against Columbus. Shots were 32-29 in favor of Columbus. Three stars of the game, Sfoziel. Kane and Angle, all from Columbus. First period, Columbus scores twice. Second period, Columbus scores twice. And third period, Jeremy Loranger with the lone goal for your Washington Capitals from Suzdalev and Krebs. And then the game against Florida, we lost 6-3. to Shots were 37-36 in favor of your Washington Capitals, but the score was not in our favor. Three stars of the game, Crawford, Sharp, and O'Reilly. First period, you have Florida scoring. Second period, you have Florida with another goal. And then... Larange on the power play from Swanson and Suzdalev. Suzdalev from Parasak and Hagens. And then Florida with two back-to-back -back goals. Closing out the period makes it 4-2. to two. And in the third period, you have another Florida goal with three seconds in. And then Hunter Height scores on the power play from Soto and Huang. But then Will Sharp on the empty nets makes it 6-3. to three. And that is it for the Prospects Tournament. So with that being done, let's advance up to the preseason. All right, since Backstrom has retired, we're going to set a new alternate captain. Obviously, you got Ovechkin and Carlson. For now, I think I'll give it to Phillips. He's been around for a bit, and he had that good rookie season there. Hopefully, he can return to where he was two seasons ago. I just want to point this out. Something that I've noticed when clicking on the training page, if you click on the training page again, when you're still on the training page, it takes you to the scouting page. <laughs> I, just th I just thought that was kind of funny. I don't think there's any other pages that do the same thing here. I'm trying to do this with... The other pages and this is the only thing that does that if you <laughs> double click on training then it takes you to scouting that does appear to be a bug nonetheless i thought i pointed out all right so here's our roster heading into year number three you have kemper and peterson in goal on defense you have carlson york lambos Ekholm, vilnuv iorio and krebs and at forward you have ovechkin protus kartai phillips crystal 
Suzdalev, Lapierre, Carabella, Hoffer, Mirstenchenko, Snively, Artamanov, Atkinson, and Height. So with that, let's get the regular season underway. I can't imagine we'll be stopping the simulation too much. I mean, we already know what kind of season this is going to be for the most part. So uh, barring any trades, I think we're just going to fly through this season for the most part. Artamanov, man, you got to stop getting these major injuries at the start of the season. Artamanov, like two games in, gets an indefinite injury. <laughs> His injury tendencies are normal. Are you t you're saying that's normal? That's the, I'm pretty sure that's two seasons in a row of him starting the season injured, basically. Because last season, he had that injury that was about a month long at the start of the season. And now, <laughs> now he's got a fractured eye socket for basically five months there. Oh, that's unfortunate. October, November, December, January, February. He's gone to like March. <laughs> oh man, that's unfortunate. Okay, really media? You're, you're going to criticize Ovi in the twilight of his career when we got a win? A win where he got two points, nonetheless. Come on, the media treats you unfair. That media treats him unfairly. <laughs> oh, it's a two-game winning streak. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we, we, we just had a two-game winning streak. I did not think I would see that this season, considering where we're at. But yeah, otherwise this season is going about as expected. Nothing really much to see here. I think we're just gonna continue on to probably the trade deadline. Man, the media is ripping on the veterans. They're, they're criticizing Carlson when he got two assists. <laughs> well, we got a bit of a conflict here with Kartai and Carabella. Let's try to nip this in the bud while it's still young. All right, cool. So it went straight from a five to a four with that intervening. So it looks like uh, they're going to sort things out soon, hopefully. I'm not sure what coach is thinking here, but he has Atkinson on the first line and Crystal on the third. Coaching AI in this game is kind of puzzling at times. And again, I suppose that's the way it is in real life as well, from a fan's perspective anyhow. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to just advance to the trade deadline here. There's not much else I want to do. We're 11, 36, and 6. So, yeah, really uh, not much to say about it besides that was expected. All right, so we're on March 1st, a couple days before the trade deadline. We are 13, 40, and 7. Once again, nothing we didn't expect. Let's check out the stats briefly. In goal, you have a 910 for Kemper in 46 games played, an 895 for Peterson in 22, and Riddick in the two games he played actually had a 937. So maybe you should consider calling him up, or you know what? Maybe I should just leave him down at the AHL. That would help the prospects better. On defense, you have 33 points for Carlson, 23 for York, 21 for Lambos, 17 for Iorio, 15 for Ekholm, 14 for Villeneuve, 5 for Krebs, and 1 for Kostenko in 3 games. And at forward you have Ovi with 52 points, still killing it at 40 years of age, 32 goals on the season. Matthew Phillips with 40 points, 32 for Crystal in 54 games. Then you have Hoffer with 24 points, 21 for Atkinson and Protus, 19 for Suzdalev. 18 for Lapierre, 15 for Kartai, 12 for Carabella, 9 for Height in 47 games played, 8 for Mirstachenko, 4 for Snively, 1 for Artamanov in 3 games played, who is still not back, and Rabinsky with nothing in 5 games. Team stats wise, we're at the bottom of the league for goals for per game with a 2.47. Goals against per game, we are also, as expected, at the bottom of the league with 3.97. Power play, 31st in the league, that is ugly, 11.8. Tied for last with Arizona. And Pelico actually not as bad as I thought it would be. 80.5 middle of the league at 15th. Uh, there's not a whole lot I want to do at the trade deadline, I don't think. I think we could just advance to the end of the regular season here. I think for this team, the young guys just got to get more experienced. We need to have another solid draft. So maybe we'll be making some trades come the draft. But for now, I think we're going to just simulate ahead. Because there's really not much that I can think of that I want to do at the moment. Artamanov is finally back. He's only played three regular season games so far, so he's definitely gonna have to gonna have to get acclimated again. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Artamanov again? <laughs> Poor Artamanov. He plays two games and he gets injured again indefinitely. <laughs> Poor Artamanov. That's awful. This game, man, that, that, that is not normal injury tendency. I don't care what you say. That's not normal. <laughs> so he's out yet again for the rest of the season, presumably. Actually, not presumably, definitely. To the injury list you go once again. <laughs> oh boy. John Carlson, two to three months. Holy moly, when it rains, it pours. LaPierre, torn UCL, indefinite. <laughs> the injuries bug just hates our young players right now. 
All right, so we have finished the regular season. We have finished 20, 53, and 9, minus 125 on the season. That is wonderful. I think we all know what the team stats are going to look like, so I'm going to skip that. In goal, you have Kemper in 55 games played with a 909, and Peterson in 36 with a 901. On defense, you have 39 points for Carlson, 35 for Lambos, 34 for York, 23 for Iorio, 20 for Ekholm, 17 for Villeneuve, 6 for Krebs, and 3 for Kostenko. At forward, Ovi, yet another 40-goal season, 73 points. He keeps killing it at 40 years of age. Phillips with 55, so closer to where he was his rookie season. Crystal with 52, 30 for Hoffer and Protus, 26 for Atkinson, 24 for Lapierre, 23 for Suzdalev and Carabella, 19 for Kartai, 15 for Mirshchenko and Height, 5 for Snively, 4 for Rybinski, and 1 for Artemidov in 5 games played. Poor kid. <laughs> he gets injured at the start of the season, comes back for 2 games, and then injured again. And he's one of our better prospects, too. He's a 3-star ability already. 4-star potential, but man, he just cannot stay healthy for whatever reason. <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, we're going to end things off here. And the next one, we will go through the offseason of year number three.